Hey guys, my name is Miska and welcome to Overwatch Central and a brand new Ana skin just hit. I was actually gonna make a different video and I'm still in the process of making that video and that's more things I want to talk about but I wanted to cover this of course as well. So I thought it fit some of those things in this video as well. So we'll have that just after the skin. But if you're just here for the skin, here it is. This is the new Ana legendary skin, Cabana. It's like Copacabana, you know, Cabana, Ana. you know, they kind of making that pun. It's, it's Blizzard, you know, it's typical Blizzard humor, but it is a very, very good skin. And I gotta say, I'm just impressed with the sort of, you know, variations they're able to come up with these different skins while still keeping them all just generically kind of summer themed or sports themed, you know? But yeah, Ana here in particular looks great. She actually has some gold detail that I kind of like that I almost like more than her gold gun. But yeah, the weapon actually looks amazing. I'm looking forward to getting a better look at that in game. And yeah, she's just got a pretty cool outfit, keeping that blue vibe of Ana. And of course, also keeping that silhouette with almost like a cape-like type of clothing. But yeah, really cool skin. Coming out just very soon this week on Thursday when the Summer Games event hit this will be available for 3,000 credits or in the loot boxes but that is basically it for the skin don't need more than a minute to talk about that but I do want to talk about uh, two other things actually and the first one is regarding patches and patch timing which is very relevant to the current sort of you know climate of you know you have the Summer Games patch we have another potential balance patch coming in we have Hammond that's gonna be in ranked at some point we have new Symmetra that's kind of hit but it's not really played in the esports level of Overwatch yet. Well, at least we didn't see her in the Overwatch League at all. And Sideshow tweeted out something very interesting that I wanted to bring up in this video. If you don't know Sideshow, Josh Wilkinson or Sideshow Gaming is an analyst on the Overwatch League and he does just a lot of things on the desk and yeah, kind of highlights things in different games. And he tweeted out the following. The timing of patches is my single largest gripe with the Overwatch scene. Narratives have been bulldozered in most major tournaments for the, I don't know, adapt, I guess, highway, and it doesn't have to be that way. And this is a very, very good point that I think a lot of people involved in competitive Overwatch do feel. And the timing of patches with Overwatch as a whole is just kind of weird. It's very interesting to see that Blizzard do just take these decisions of not having all this new, exciting content in Overwatch League and instead opting for, you know, keeping a meta that's kind of more similar, having it be a bit slower and of course one or two patches behind the actual live client. But that does also mean that everyone on the live client don't always know quite what to do with the different patches. They don't have the pros that they can kind of mimic almost in a way. And on top of that, it creates a bit of a disconnect between the game as a whole and the competitive scene. And there are arguments for this being good and bad in both ways. And I think that Sideshow brings it up in a good, interesting way. It does some good replies. Definitely do check that out. And it's a discussion I wanted to start on here. Let me know what you think about that in the comments below. Right, that's as short as I can keep that. But I do want to also mention the second thing which I wanted to bring up today in a video. And that has to do with just Overwatch as a whole, learning the game and the information you are given. Of course, way back in beta, Blizzard came out and said that we've removed the scoreboard that we had. If you don't know, there was a scoreboard in Overwatch way back based on points, the same type of points you now get for fire for the on fire thing. And basically, they removed that because they didn't want people to be just competing with, oh, I have more eliminations and I have more healing and so on, and you're not doing as well. And why are you at the bottom of the scoreboard? You're doing so poorly right now. And sure, they kind of, you know, managed to get away from that in a way but instead it becomes oh but I have gold damage and all of that type of arguments and that lack of information and that lack of structure within Overwatch as a game really causes a lot of different issues. I think about this all the time and I talk to so many friends of mine that don't actually play Overwatch that I play also other games with and whenever they talk about Overwatch they always talk about how hard it is to grasp. I have some friends that are really really good at other games even other shooters but with Overwatch they just can't really grasp it and they don't really understand it and because of that they don't really play it and it's really true this thread on r slash overwatch that's literally called but i have gold damage why partial information is more harmful than full access really summarizes my thoughts as well perfectly so a big shout out to you slash mood rubicon for that one i might be butchering that username but either way definitely check that thread out because that post just has so much good stuff in it and it's just perfectly nice on my thoughts so i didn't really want to just make a whole separate video about this because you know a text post does fit more information in and you can probably read it a bit faster than i can make a whole video about it so to keep this short 
check that out. All of those links will be below. I'm looking forward to reading that discussion and seeing what you guys are saying. All right, that's all for now, though. The skin, the talk about the different patches. The patch is coming this week, potentially a balanced patch, even tomorrow or Thursday, but then definitely Summer Games on Thursday. Really exciting stuff, but it's all for now. Leave a like if you enjoyed this very compact news type of video and discussion video as well. And do subscribe and click the bell if you want more Overwatch content. That is all for now, though. Thanks again for watching. Until next time, take care, and we'll see you then.